Hello and welcome to Social Media for Humans, the podcast that empowers you to do social differently. Your host, Alexis Bushnell, and her guests discuss their experience of social media as business owners, users, and ultimately, humans, with insights and advice to help you find an effective and ethical strategy that works for you. Grab yourself a drink and join the conversation. Hello, hello. I am here today with the lovely Trudy of Corporate Pilates and a piece of cake. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Trudy. Four Prints Pilates, a piece of cake, mainly Pilates. Four Prints is my, just my two dogs and the fact that everything has dog hair in my life. And they're my love. Um, and cake is, who doesn't love cake? You know. Uh, we, have, we have cake after class sometimes, not at the moment. Having to do virtual cake, which is ever so difficult. But yeah. The idea is nice, relaxing, but hard work. Pilates classes and social as well mm. which is nice yeah. that's the idea and i like that you're very sort of like body inclusive and working with whatever is going on with your body at the minute that's... don't look like a gym bunny can't you see me but anyway. <laughs> well, i think it's well, really important about... it is it is no i always had this big thing about couldn't be a pilates instructor because i didn't look like basically a ballet but now everybody can be a Pilates instructor and everybody can do Pilates as well because exactly. it is everybody has a skeleton and you all have the same muscles padding is just padding. so we just We're adapt so stuff. yeah so we we met through social media through a mutual friend slash acquaintance slash colleague slash yeah. Rabbit holes. Yeah. Follow, follow, follow. Yeah. And you have been through several of my courses. You, you've done uh, Instagram for humans. You've done Out of the Jungle. And now you're working with me one to one. Yes. So you I did the proper progression. <laughs> you followed my funnel beautifully. <laughs> uh, so Stalky first. Hard. Yeah, at social media at the minute. So I am interested to know what made you, firstly, what made you think I want to do social media properly for my business? I have avoided social media. I put my hands up. I have avoided social media uh, most of my life. Um, I have an, I'm of an age where I have watched social media appear, develop, um, and used to be in the software industry. So very much, oh, no, 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 don't want to do anything like that. Don't want to put my life on the internet. But um, I retrained to a Pilates teacher and it was kind of like, I have to connect with people. I need to connect with people. How do you do that nowadays? Social media. So it's kind of like, fine, okay. So I know technically how everything works. However, um, I am dyslexic. So writing is a big problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so I started off with Instagram. Instagram I thought was fabulous. It's pictures. You don't have to write anything. <laughs> and then realized that everybody actually writes stuff. <laughs> and it was kind of like, oh, okay. So we need to do writing. Okay. Um, and then it was into what do I need to write? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then it got on to further, you know, the more you look into it, it's kind of, well, what's the difference between a post? And then there's these real things. And then there's story things. Still not 100% sure about those two, um, but maybe getting there. Um, and then, yeah, and then there's the TV thing, which is kind of... So it was kind of like, okay, then. And I saw your your five-day challenge. Ah, oh, yeah. It was where it started, right? It's kind of jumped on. Kind of put my head above the back. Um, and that was five minutes a day. And it was kind of like, just go, go do that and then come back. And it was kind of like, okay. So it, it, it doesn't have to rule my life, you know? And there was people, friends have said, you know, they spent hours on it and it's kind of like, mm -hmm. oh, we don't want to do that, I want to teach Pilates. Mm -hmm. But I want to do that advertising, you know? And social media is the advertising world of the day. 
So, a long story, really. Um, so, yeah, so that climatizing with other things. Um, recent years, I found out I'm also autistic and recently found out I have ADHD. So all of these things mingling together mean I'm not very focused. I have a real problem if somebody tells me to write something. I can write, just not when I have to write. Um, <laughs> and, and yeah, inattention is what I have from the ADHD. Um, so trying to get all of that together mm. in a way that I can cope with it. It doesn't overwhelm me. And the fact that your main thing is it has to work with my life mm -hmm. is the big thing. So we're doing and the process. So, yeah. And I think it's working. Good. I have to say, I, 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 I have been very impressed with your scheduling and getting stuff done and like because you say if, if you're told to write something that, that that's like a uh, no <laughs> but actually when i sort of i leave you a list of things like here are some things that you need to write about you do you do write them so there's obviously that's you, you, you do very good prompts yeah 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 so if, if i have you know the, the, the blank piece of paper going you know i can get the pictures i can get the images that's all right and then you're just kind of okay now write the salesy pitch and I'm kind of like, I don't want to do sales pitches. Yeah. <sighs> um, how do you interact with somebody? And then I have this problem of I can't actually think about how somebody else thinks in a conversation, which I have learned recently is about the autism and the, the processing time about, okay, put yourselves in somebody else's shoes. Mm. Yeah, I, I have difficulty with that. Yeah. It's a challenge. Yeah. Because my, my brain's just so different. It's difficult to put my brain in normal people. No, no, people. So but yeah, it's just the kind of you know the huge stream of consciousness that I have. Yeah. Usually about five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. How to then take that and tailor yeah. it. So. That is a big, big topic, actually. How are you managing to because I'm sure a lot of people have that sort of that thing where they have these amazing ideas in the shower or late at night or early in the morning and they're just like, I don't want to get up and write it down. What how do I I can't get up into a computer and sort it all out? What do I do? Technology is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Vo voice recording. Oh, top tip. See, um, I don't, I don't like speaking to technology. Mm -hmm. um, my husband and I are very much kind of, it's not being turned on all the time. It is not going to sit in the corner and listen to us. Mm. Don't know. I, we've worked out that's an age thing, paranoia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all the sci-fi stories from when we were younger, we believe them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the, the voice recognition and converting that into text it's fantastic mm. now. It's fantastic. As is spell checkers and grammar checkers. Yeah. So I have learned that everything has to go through. Um, I use Microsoft, so I go through their um, editor, it's called. So everything goes into a Word document. The stream of consciousness comes from the phone into the Word document. And then I have to go through it with the spelling checker and the grammar checker as well. So it adds in the extra stages into the process. And so. A lot of people struggle with this sort of, it's not professional enough. I, you know, I need, it needs to sound more professional or more honed or more this or more. And actually what it needs to sound like is you. So if you're, if you just are speaking and then it's typing out itself, that's a really good way to do it because that is your authentic voice. You have to educate it and you have to add, be happy to add words to the dictionary because I, I'm, I know I make up a lot of words. Okay, I, <laughs> I, I add endings to things, I combine words, yeah, I do that, but and, and they have, yeah, they have to come out in the captions. So yeah, you have to, I have to not be afraid to go, is this really a word? Or is this a truly word? If it's a truly word, we'll add it to the dictionary and it'll learn it. 
is I'm just spelled it wrong. We did that. Um, yeah, I have all quite often thought I need I need two of me really. I need the one that does all the ideas, and then the other one can just sit there and type it. Wrong. <laughs> if you figure that out, let me know because I could do with a second version of me as well. That'd be yeah. happy. Yeah. 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 A lot, a lot of people have said that as well. So. <laughs> yeah, working on that. <laughs> So, yeah, so the aim is to get the, the Pilates business up better, more clients, so I can do the Pilates side of it, and then maybe somebody else could do that. Mm -hmm. Whenever I put up a prompt or something that is like, go and engage with five people, yeah, go, go and do this engagement, go and leave a comment here, that they're always the ones that you are guaranteed to comment on and be like, help! So Which is funny, because I'm engaging. <laughs> so I guess I want to know what what is it that, that makes that difficult or, or causes a disconnect for you? Well recent, recently you said you know go to you you very nicely narrowed down the, the prompt <laughs> even more rather than go, go and put five comments on. We've done that one, that didn't work. So this last time I was go go to one big company, pick the last post, and comment one comment on it. And through doing that one, I think I'm slowly working out that I just get overwhelmed actually. So I, I went to a big company in the Pilates world. I actually went to um, Body Control Pilates, who I trained with. Mm -hmm. Went to theirs, thought safe place. We go there. Um, Last post, there were no comments. So that started throwing me because oh, my little route had been sidetracked. So, okay, go to the previous one. Um, went through all the comments and it was just everybody congratulating themselves and congratulating the dog that was in the picture. And it was kind of like, oh, well, can't really comment any of that. Thinking about it now, I could have done. I, I could have just said, hello, Bertie. How are you missing seeing you in the studio? Mm -hmm. See, I can do it about a week later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I think it's all dealed up with that social... Uh, so it's misfitting, okay? Mm -hmm. Of being in a room and having to go and talk to people. Mm -hmm. It's the same than it being on Instagram, you go and talk to people. And I don't always come out with the right words or they don't come across the way my head comes up with a kind of a thought. Mm -hmm. And then as it comes out, it gets formed into some words. And then the other person gets the words and they don't always come across as what the thought was. So there's this mismatch of the processing, which through sort of my journey with my mental health, I found out is partly the dyslexia because I don't have a good, it's a filing system. I have a huge vocabulary, but the filing system on the vocabulary is screwed up. Mm -hmm. And then you add in the autism in that. And that's the bit that goes, don't want to talk to anybody. So yeah, so even just doing it, you know, engagement. We're gonna to have to avoid strangers, I think, somehow. <laughs> but all the, the clients I've had that haven't been my friends, um, that were complete strangers. Um, I've actually got through um, local groups on Facebook, which I know I haven't been doing recently. <laughs> I'll add that to the list. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about that this morning. Actually, I've I've lost my piece of paper with my posting schedule of of which groups and when you can post. Ah, yeah. Yeah, because not that's like overwhelming groups, which is very sensible. I mean, you don't want to read things every week. Um, and now we've got, we've 
got this the schedule going with the things and have actually got some demonstrations of some um, stress relieving things mm-hmm. uh, seeing as everybody is stressed at the moment um i thought and actually a loads of people are being i wouldn't say damaged that's not quite the right word but broken is not quite the word either um they are having issues basically the stress is coming out in everybody's body so um i thought that actually to to post into those groups the um, stress relieving tips mm. would be better than the, the salesy type things that i see yeah. in there yeah. so just as a kind of it's i think it's awareness more than come to my lesson yeah yeah definitely that's actually something that um emma and i were talking about it's, it's about adding value and it's about helping i know like the, the first sort of stress relieving pose that you put up did really work for you so it's kind of testament to the fact that it works yes yeah and it's um there's also a part of me that's watched other pilates instructors on social media um and the thing to do if you're a fitness person is lots of well well filmed lovely beautiful um quite advanced exercises Mm. um as your showcase Mm. and i'm quite hesitant to do that because i've just heard so many people and spoke to so many people who watched something the classic example in the UK at the moment is Joe Wicks. Um, and they've done that and they did it and then they got, you know, back issues and shoulder issues and whatever because they tried to do a very advanced thing. Yeah. So yeah. It's kind of like, mm, you know, <laughs> it's not what I want to do. <laughs> I want to help, help people to move better, <laughs> not damage them. Well, yeah. yeah. But that is something that I think is is coming across in your content now. I think you you figured out sort of that your niche, if you like, and you are you are very much talking to your audience. Now. But I know you had trouble of niching down. You had trouble with that sort of ideal client, target market type thing. So how did you? How did that click? How did that click? It hasn't. You're going to love that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah, it hasn't in my head. Um, I, I always had a struggle with it because it's to do with pigeonholing. Mm-hmm. And my whole life, I just don't like being hit, pigeonholed. Um, I don't like the fact that we have to have labels for things. Mm-hmm. Um, people are people. So, um, and yeah, that's another conversation. Um, but yeah, so people are people. And so trying to be very specific mm-hmm. in putting myself in a box mm-hmm. and then getting those other people is kind of like, well, I'd actually really like to appeal to all the people that don't fit in a box. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so if yeah if you think of yourself as a square peg in a square hole then my pilates classes probably aren't for you <laughs> so yeah it's but, interesting that you've, you've managed to sort of to suss out your content to suss out sort of how to speak to those people without without really having figured out those people, if you see what I mean. That's I just, I just, right, right. I suppose what, right, what I want, you know, yeah. and how it, how it makes me feel. So at the moment, it's all about a different um, Pilates principle and about me and how I view life. And it's kind of like, well, actually, that's, that's who I want to appeal to. So yeah. if my philosophy on life and how I teach Pilates and what I use Pilates for fits in with how your philosophy, the ideal client philosophy, da, da, da. then mm. 
yeah, I mean, this this morning, I was utilizing one of Emma's groups to get some feedback on logo ideas. Mm -hmm. um, and there's been quite a few ideas about going, it's about the complicated logo. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of, okay. <laughs> it is my brand though. Um, and quite a few people have said, yeah, no, it needs to be simpler. And, to, and, and one lady has actually said, I think it's lady, I don't know, assumption there. Um, but the first thing that popped into her mind was that I wanted to attract people who wanted to bring their pets to class and then eat cake afterwards. So my comment, well, well if that's what's popped into your mind with that logo, <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that's who I want. I have, I didn't write it, but it was kind of, I have a feeling that's not what you want from a Pilates class. That's fine. Yeah. There's loads of us around, so mm. go to a team. Yeah. I haven't got team. So, and there's enough, there's enough people in the world. There's enough, there's not enough Pilates instructors, but mm. I can always have more. It sounds like they're sort of using yourself as that ideal client, which is a, a great way to, to do it. To be fair, if that's going to work with people like you, then that is really, really simple way to to figure that out. Yes. So that is a very good tip for people. You don't have to have a very complicated ideal client set up. You can just, like, I want to work with people like me. And then yeah. you can write what you want to write. <laughs> There you go then. You can update their client, ideal client worksheet. Yeah. Is this you at the bottom? How do you find Facebook groups? I quite like Facebook groups. Um, mm -hmm. I I have little pictures of them in my head. Mm -hmm. okay. That sounds bizarre. Um, and part of the name also comes comes into it. Um, so the the ones where people are inclusive and are positive and um, in very polite ways educate people if they're being nasty mm -hmm. um but those kind of you know, they're, they're the sorts of groups that attract people to be positive yeah okay. um i used to really not like groups of people mm. um, and that was an in-person thing I didn't like. yeah um but through through having some problems with my dogs got into a dog training group and then got into a smaller facebook group and it was kind of like, actually they can be like actual places mm -hmm. yeah so i kind of got my head around the idea that maybe it's a bit like a lounge and that you go in um and you sit down and you have a cup of coffee and you talk to the person next to you mm -hmm. yeah what, what have you been doing today? What we've we been doing this, and have you got any problems? Some of that sort of thing. So it kind of comes back to um, a staff room, really, in my head, or a break room or something like that in an office. Yeah. You just go and chat, and there will be one thing that would have got you in there in the first place, yeah. which is the common interest, um, which is just like you know, at, at work, you will work for the same company. You'll go to the kitchen to make yourself a cup of coffee. You'll chat to people there. They might not be in your bit of the company. But... Mm -hmm. So I think once I got my head around that and basically came up with that little image in my head, then it was kind of, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, and although I don't like talking to people, I will actually talk to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and I have, I have, apparently I have a very approachable manner. You um, do, yeah. So people will talk to me. So when I was actually going to an office to work, 
I used to know all the gossip because uh, <laughs> I just chat to everybody when you're making a cup of coffee in that. Um, it might be partly I don't really like silence. So, so yeah, so standing next to somebody at a coffee machine making a coffee, mm -hmm. I'd have to say something to them, interact with them. Which, yeah, then you've got it on kind of technology there. It's that kind of hmm, words on a piece of paper. Mm. So, so, yeah, so once I've got this little idea of the group is a little lounge and you go in. You sit down, make your coffee, you sit down, you have a little chat. Because the reason why you're there is the same as everybody else. There's that communal thing. Yeah. And then it was kind of, okay, I can do that. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, that's a good point. Because a lot of people, I think, struggle with with Facebook groups. Actually, this is another thing that came up with Emma. People struggling knowing like how to interact mm -hmm. and sort of feeling sometimes that whatever they say it's salesy because they are there to connect with other people with a view to eventually sell something yeah uh, but that's actually a really nice way to think about it as just like it's a, it's a, a cafe or a lounge or a, 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 a just a room you know a pub or whatever yeah that you're dropping into and you're just ch chatting to people that is a really nice sort of reframe to to make i think it help can help individual people feel less like this is a marketing activity for me. This is a, a social media engagement activity for me. And more, yes. this is community building. This is socializing. This is just connecting with people. Yeah. Um, and then I think also what I did was, because some groups you can join as yourself, mm. your personal profile, and then some groups you can actually join as your page. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's always a bit of a dilemma because um, I'm still a bit hesitant about how much of my personal life goes up. I'm always forever playing with the privacy settings because you oh. debated, you know, is yeah. that global? Is that not? Can I see it? Who can see it? And then you go and post something and share it and you can't and then go. <laughs> this way you like the split personality. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, but yeah, I realized that if you're, if you're in a group as a page, um, it's basically like wearing your, your logoed, you know, you're in, you're in this coffee lounge, you've gone to get your coffee, you've got huge, great, big logoed outfit, you know, but if you're, you're selling bananas, like you are in a banana. So you, <laughs> you don't have to go, would you like to buy a banana? Um, cause they've seen that already. So, yeah. so yeah, so it's that kind of like, okay, I don't have to do that because if I'm in there as the page, mm. the, the assumption is you're a business. So at some point, you know, if, even just the question of, well, what do you do as a business? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, salesy already. Um, so you don't have to do it. And it was kind of like, actually, yeah, it's, it's, that's been a big thing about, because I always had this, you have to be sales. And you don't. Because, mm. yeah, okay, so I am a Pilates teacher. I'd really like to everybody to come. No, it wouldn't actually. Um, <laughs> just the, my sort of people to come. And... So yeah, so how, how, do you, how do I read them out? You know, well, be me. And if what I talk about, because everybody says I just talk about Pilates so much, it's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> I have to stop myself going, well, have you tried? <laughs> it's really good if you could just, no, um, stop doing that. So yeah, um, so yeah, and it's kind of like, okay, well, because I do talk about it so much, I don't have to. I can just. Mm. So you find it helpful to be able to interact in groups as your page. That makes it easier for you. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That might be something for other people to try as well, because I, there is 
there are pros and cons to using your personal profile or your page. Um, I mean, w weirdly, like you can join groups as your page, but you can't do the, all the same things no. as you can as a person, which is limiting depending on <laughs> how you want to use them. Um, although I, I tend to find it's more limiting if it's your own group because there are things like creating events and uh, opening rooms and things like that that you maybe want to do as your your page so that it, it's clear that this is an official official thing that's going up in that group and you can't you have to do it as your your personal and I do I I hope I don't see it in the near future but I, I would like to see some way to separate your actual personal facebook account from any business activity so if you're running pages to not have to see those notifications on your personal account and if you're running groups you don't have to see those notifications that there is some kind of separation that would be so nice i found out messenger has a swap accounts thing it i does. didn't know that i kept it's... having this thing that kept popping up little thing going notification you've still got a message no we haven't <laughs> yes you have no i haven't Oh, that one has. I don't play. But there's now two. <laughs> but also, I, I actually have two phones. Oh, well, that's handy. I have a work phone and I have a personal phone. Because mm. so when I go on holiday, I, I don't, I don't want to take my work with me. <laughs> but I, I, haven't, I haven't sussed out how to split the two. No, that is, that is, mm. it is, it is essentially impossible at the moment. Um, and you can monitor, you can, you can install the um, Business Suite app, I think it is now, um, which allows you to manage your pages, but it doesn't give you your personal notifications. Yeah. But it doesn't, <clears throat> as far as I'm aware, include uh, like groups that your page is mm -hmm. in. Um, I think it now includes the feed. So you can actually like other pages as your page and you can see those things in that feed now. So they are, they are sort of working towards it, but it, it, is, it is very slow. And the order things are coming out in is a little bit questionable, I, w I would say. But I mean, who am I to say I know more than Mark Zuckerberg about how people use Facebook? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's on how people use it at all. I think it's on who, which development team does their bit first. Mm, mm, possibly, possibly. <laughs> that'd be the other one. That'd be 20, 25 years in the software industry and how big companies were. Yeah, it will could, be the plan, be. and then there'll be all the little people running along. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done it yet. Oh, yes. Oh, well, we've done this. I'm just going to roll this other thing out anyway. It's, it's all right. We'll, it's it's all finished. <laughs> just get it out there. Get it out there. It's a new <laughs> oh dear. Well, is there anything you would specifically like to talk about or tell us or cover? <laughs> anything you feel you have missed? Have I missed? No. Um I would say that everybody should get their head around the fact that they don't have to be on social media all the time. Mm. It's a big thing. Uh, because personal interactions, physically interacting with the person you're in a room with is actually far more important. Than uh, maybe important is not the right word. But, uh, no, actually, that's the right word. It's more important. They're there. And that matters a lot more nowadays. Um, it should fit into your life. So if it's for work, work-life balance, all about that. Um, and come up with a system that works for everybody. Yeah. Which is yeah. the big thing has been kind of actually, yeah. And scheduling. <laughs> I love that I've converted you to scheduling. Scheduling is amazing. <laughs> I don't, have to, I don't have to write it all, all the time. <laughs> I can just take something I did. 
<laughs> last year. Um, and yeah, we can use that again. Oh, that was the biggest revelation. Yeah, yeah. And that see that helps you to then not be on social media all the mm. time as well, because you you've done a lot of the content, so you can take then time to interact with people in person, mm. safely wearing masks and things like that. Oh yes. <laughs> you need to spot. And uh, yeah, you can you can take the time to be off social media, which it really is important. And as much as I think it's been so helpful to keep people connected, especially during the pandemic and, and everything. Oh, I mean, at the moment, it's, you know, whole of social media is just gone. Yeah, yeah. Completely keeping everybody sane and that. But I think it's also definitely need to be in the here and now, as it were. Yeah, yeah. You still need time away from it. Very yeah. much so. In the sunshine. In the sunshine. Well, yeah, the sunshine and the snow here. Yeah. Oh, we have no snow. We just got sunshine. Yeah. Very nice. Blue skies. Yes. No snow. I'm quite pleased. We have a lot yes. of snow. <laughs> it's just kind of obviously it's gone round us then. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Well, tell us where people can find you. How how can they follow you and find you and join you and do stuff with you? Well, I am on Instagram as Poor Prince Pilates Cake. Uh, Facebook as Poor Prince Pilates Cake. And there's a website, which is poorprincepilatescake.co.uk. Very good. So all the same names. The same names and everything. Very professional. Very good. Well, thank you very much for being here. Thank how, you for having how me. How have you found it? Did you Fantastic. Good. Very much. Always talking to you is enjoyable. <laughs> if you want more regular reminders to find your own way to use social media, Follow Alexis on your social platform of choice. All the links will be in the show notes. Until next time, be a human.